guys, it's still dark outside, and that's because I have to go into headquarters today. We've been working on, um, excuse me, <coughs> year end, and I've got to go in there, meet with my boss, and go over open POs and see what work didn't get done and that kind of thing so we can close those out and move forward. So I got it all packed up. I'm taking a um, keto chow drink with me and um, a Zevia and some sparkling water because we have no food there. I don't have any bars or anything like that to take. Um, and there's no place to drive and go. So I think on the way home, Harry, I'm going to stop by Bash's and get us a rotisserie chicken. That would be nice. For lunch. Yeah. So I think I'll do that. I may or may not drink my drink. It depends on if I'm, I'm gonna, hungry or not. I'm so. going to try not to have anything. There's okay? some chicken in here in case you have to take a pill for your headache. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. But I'm hey. not going to a meal. I'm not going to eat a meal. No, and I'm not either. So you guys, hey, how would you guys do so far? Today is Thursday. It's the third day of our Christmas Crunch Challenge. Hey, you guys. How are you guys doing so far? Did, were you guys able to get as close to 500 calories yesterday as possible, or did you just have to take off one or 200 calories from what you were eating for your lifestyle? I want to say a big thanks to Janet Greta, G-A-N-E-T-G-R-E-T-A, all one word, her channel, because she found us and she loves the Christmas Crunch Challenge so much, she gave it out to her subscribers, you guys, and she's following along and doing it as well. Hey, you guys, this document can be shared on Facebook groups. You guys can share it with friends and relatives. Please feel free to share. We give you permission to share our December Christmas Crunch with your friends and loved ones and in the keto community so that everyone can get on board and lose weight before Christmas. I just think it's a great protocol. It's easy. It changes every single day. You guys can use bone broth to push it. And if you can't make homemade bone broth, there's tons of very good um, commercially made bone broths out there like uh, Kettle and Fire. They're the most expensive, they're I think. But there's several out there. So don't be afraid to use commercial bone broth as if you cannot make your own. Please read the label for the hidden carbs and hidden sugars, okay? Harry listed all the hidden sugars um, and names from uh, yesterday, and he'll add that to the end. So you guys, go look at that, because he scrolls down, and you won't believe. There's over 50... 52 or 56. 50, there's over 50 yeah, I can't different remember exact names number. for sugar. So be on the lookout for those. Hey, you guys, we got to get started because I've got to get to work. Anyway, you guys, everything that you eat the day before and sometimes two days prior, Tylenol, Harry's had one of his terrible headaches. He's been on Tylenol for the past couple days. Um, did you take Tylenol last night before you went oh, to bed? Oh, yeah. Head? Yeah? How are you doing today, honey? Oh, I'm... I'm Got a headache. What can I say? It's not It's not as bad this time as well, usual, good. which is good. Which is good. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, with that, yesterday was an OMAD 500 calorie if you can day. And we had as close to 500 calories as I could get. I had six ounces of chicken meat with three eggs. We had a cup of coffee, which was our collagen sweetened with coconut almond milk and stevia. Harry had a ground chuck beef bowl with three eggs. He had his coffee with collagen and coconut almond milk. I had 1% carbs for a total of 1.1 grams, 44% fat for a total of 22.8 grams, 55% protein for a total of 62.8 grams. Total calories, 471, you guys. You know, it's hard to get right on the nose, so as long as you get close, as long as you get close, you guys. Here he had 1% carbs for a total of 1.1 gram. 57% fat for a total of 35.7 grams. He had 42% protein for a total of 58.8 grams. And his total calories for 569. Beef is more calories than chicken. Just remember that, you guys. So we try to do chicken or fish on our low-calorie Wednesday day because you get more bang for the buck. So, you guys, we did great. We both went down. 
Harry really had a water wish. She went down 1.2 tenths of a pound, even though he's taking Tylenol. He still needs to get back down to his all-time low, so this is water release. I went down two tenths. I had water release. I still have two pounds to go from the Thanksgiving Day Feast. Even though it was keto, we're coming down the hump, you guys. We're at the top of the hill. Now we're going to start coming down. Until the next hill. Well, hopefully we'll be in the 160s by then. That's what I'm by looking Christmas, forward to. By Christmas, yeah. You're going to do the big board, Harry, so we can get out the door? Yeah. Um, we didn't eat a whole lot yesterday. And you took Tylenol for and your headache. I took Tylenol for the head, you know, which it's not a bad one this time, thank God. Yes. Uh, your headaches usually last three days, don't yeah, they? Yeah, it, usually uh, like tomorrow will be the last day and then Saturday it'll be gone. Because it started Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's three days. Yeah. Um, this, it, you can see we didn't eat. We had chicken and the ground, I had the ground beef and okay. we had some eggs. And that's really all we did. But I supplemented, the, I supplemented the whole day with basically coffee. And bone broth. And I had a cup of bone broth that Wendy made. I made bone broth yesterday. Which you could see if you go back and watch, you could see how she makes the bone broth it's so easy. And oh my, was it good. It's we so took it easy. right it's out of the so pot. Good. I mean, it takes away the hunger like that. It is just. It does. It does so good. I mean, you'll still get hungry. <laughs> I mean, for the time you're drinking it and for about maybe 30, 40 minutes, you feel really good. You do. You feel really warm and good inside. Anyways, that's it. She's going to go. Well, here, what I do want to say is bone broth is the magic trick to this whole protocol. It is. Fasting, you guys. It really if is. If you say, I just can't fast one more hour, have some bone broth. Just have half a cup of bone broth heated up. Right now, you guys, it's winter, so bone broth is wonderful. It's cool. It's crisp. Uh, it's not cool. It gets cool. The bone broth is hairy. hot. Harry, you let me finish. It's cool and crisp outside. Oh, yeah. And in the house, so hot bone broth is delicious. Just it's, don't go outside. It's soup no. season, so you can have bone broth. Anyway, you guys, hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, you guys, I've got to get to work. Um, if I walk, I'll take you guys with me, but I think I'm just going to be there for my meeting and then try to get home. Got to put my gator on so I have a mask on. Got to what, get my what, coat what are you gonna, on. Which one are you going to wear today? I think. Here, I'll get them. That's what I'm wearing. I, know. I always like to see the outfit she comes up with. Well, did you guys see my shoes? Oh, let's see what shoes. Oh, you didn't show them the shoes yet? My oh, those are cool boobies. shoes, man. I like those shoes. You know? Yeah. Those are neat. Got those at... Well, no, we didn't get those yesterday. Got, no, you got those from... You got those from, those from Boot Barn? Yes, we got yeah. these from Boot Barn. Yeah. We went to Boot Barn yesterday. And they didn't have a lot. They didn't have, and I'm surprised. Wendy walked out without a pair of shoes. With nothing, with nothing. Harry got two new t-shirts. Yeah, I got two new t-shirts, but. Well, I have beautiful boots. And I'm picky about my boots. They have to, boots, cowboy boots have to be comfortable. There, I don't have a red one, so I'll look all oh, right. Oh, you gotta get a red one then. So i look all right. Oh, it looks great. It matches, actually, because it's kind of gray. It's dark gray. gray it's gray my coat gray. of many colors. And, and your coat. It's, smoke. it's got gray your coat's in got, it. coat's got everything in it. Yeah, it's got everything in it. it. See, so, yeah, it matches. Okay. Okay. It's cool. Can't walk out of the house if something doesn't match right. You know. That's right. You know how it is, right? No, I am very bad. I am very bad. No, we don't know that. I got my crazy. Do we? I got my crazy socks on, too, so. Yeah, she. Just in case. Cr let me see the cr it's crazy socks you got on today, man. I don't see. Oh, there they are. Oh, oh wow. Oh, kind of retro in a way. Yeah. yeah. They're Fluvog socks. Oh, is that what it is? They're yeah. Fluvog socks with uh, boot barn shoes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you guys, we'll see you guys in the next segment. Yes, we will. Hey, you guys, I am back from my work and it is 1215. We're going to break our fast. And uh, we actually did a 20 hour fast today instead of a 16 hour fast. We get two meals today, no snacks, rum broth and collagen. So I went and bought a rotisserie chicken. Harry likes the breast meat, I like the brown meat. So that works out really well for us. Yep. They're having their fantastic meat sale and I'm in Fantastically. between. Fantastically. So this was 99 cents a pound for frozen um, chicken thighs with skin on. And then um, 
ground chuck 8020 was on sale for three dollars and 27 cents so i got 2.63 pounds for eight dollars and 66 cents and then the Khalifa regular toasted coconut almond milk was on sale so i got three of those philadelphia was on sale two for one so it comes in a two pack so that was nice because i'll be making some chaffles i'll be making some chicken legs and tonight harry's gonna have a beef bowl but what are we eating now we're having rotisserie chicken for lunch god because i'm like freaking and you're having right a now. beef bowl for dinner with ice cream oh cool yeah. i'm for that because um, we good. got that cookies and cream ice cream I made Tuesday night, yeah. forgetting that Wednesday was a 500 calorie night. Right. So, mom's coming over tonight. We're having a taco bowl. Okay. And we're having rotisserie chicken as soon as I can get this stuff in the freezer and cut everything up. Let's go. So, we'll be right back. Got to turn that one around. I did. Those things are okay. Well, I think when you if you get them, them on the right one, or... that's the deal. You, know, you got to find the right one it goes with because they don't all fit right. Well, anyway, here we go. Dark meat, white meat, lunch, breakfast. It's going to be delicious. And the skin, you guys, is unseasoned. I got the naked rotisserie chicken, which is nice that our store does that. Uh, because that way you're not getting anything. Oh, there, it just snapped. Wow, that was gentle pressure. Work. Oh. Anyway, you guys, got it Gentle. now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Bye, got to eat. Okay. okay, everybody, I made our menu, but I made it after we ate our rotisserie chicken. And I apologize for that, but Harry was starving to death and had to have something to eat, so that's fine. I had a, a fifth of a chicken, the legs and thigh. I, at work, had a chocolate keto chow shake made with two ounces of half and half. I am going to have four ounces of dark meat chicken for dinner along with my cookies and cream ice cream. At work, I had one scoop collagen, which is the perfect keto because I have a container of it at work. I had about two ounces of the Khalifa almond milk, coconut almond milk. I had a total of 6% carbs for 18.5 grams. I had 49% fat for a total of 67.2 grams. I'm having 45% protein for 136.4 grams. Our protein's going to be up today, but that's because um, it's going to be over our lean body mass weight. And it's, <clears throat> Harry's is going to be over his. But that's because yesterday was a 500 calorie day. We didn't get enough protein, so we're getting more protein today and we'll level off tomorrow. My total calories were 1,235. Here you have the chicken breast, half chicken breast and wing, um, two tablespoons of mayo and mustard that he wanted after we closed off the camera and he took out the chip mm. to load it in the computer. So I did make that. He's having five ounces ground chuck with three eggs and the eggs are going to be cooked in half a tablespoon of butter. So he's having a hamburger bowl, which he loves. We're having that cookies and cream ice cream. Mm -hmm. He's having two scoops of his uh, BioTrust unflavored unsweetened collagen with Khalifa almond milk in his too. Total of 4% carbs for 14.4 grams. 57% fat for a total of 99.6. He's having 39% protein for a total of 154.4 grams and 1,636 calories. Now you guys, chicken is lower in fat and it's high in protein, but it's low in fat. So, what are you looking at, babe? I thought I felt something on the floor. Oh. <clears throat> when I backed up. Oh, okay. Could have been part of my lung. No, because you're, you're <clears throat> choking. I, uh oh, <laughs> look at there she is. She heard. Anyway, you guys, we had a great lunch. It was basically rotisserie chicken. It was absolutely delicious. And we'll come back, you guys, when we have dinner. And when I pop our cookies and cream uh, keto chow ice cream, into the ice cream maker. And just so you guys know, keto chow is very specific. If you guys read the instructions, we use, with every keto chow purchase, you guys should be getting how to chow right here. Yeah, you know, we don't get nothing from these guys, so. And yeah, they, I am not, I have several <clears throat> people on Facebook on our Wendy's, our Loving It on Keto with Wendy fans Facebook group who want to know how to make the keto chow ice cream. We make it the same way you would make a shake. We follow the exact same instructions on what's either on here 
or what's on the actual package. Each scoop or sample packet takes 14 ounces of water. Then you choose the amount of fat you want based on your caloric macros. Tells you exactly how to do it. It, it, it tells you everything. And then there's information on the back of the package as well, right here, you guys. You want to use tepid or warm water always. Do not use cold refrigerated water. It won't mix as well. Even when you're making ice cream. If you are, yes, because you're making this ahead of time and then refrigerating it. If you use butter and you're melting your butter, you want to use warm not boiling hot water. Oh, thank you, mother. To do it. Well, no, they tell you that. Don't use boiling water. And then put your powder and do exactly what the recipe says. And use <clears throat> exactly the amount of fat. There's no fat in keto chow. They've done that so that it allows you to put the amount of fats and the type of fats you want to customize it for you. You can use avocado oil. You can use real butter. You can use heavy whipping cream. You can use half and half. You can use whatever milk replacement, such as almond milk, you want. And make it right or you're going to your room. No, that's not it. But I, I, I'm, I don't want you to be frustrated if you're trying to make the ice cream because it's the exact recipe as if you were making a shake and refrigerating it, okay? When Harry and I make our ice cream, we usually make two portions. So it would be 28 ounces of water, okay? Our fat, it would be our fat times two, and then it would be two scoops or two sample packets. Now mom comes and shares ours, so we have to actually split ours three ways. Actually, three and a half, because Sally gets some. She loves some, except for uh, chocolate peanut butter. Well, it's your and mom. That, you should give her your portion. Well, okay, I will. <laughs> I will, honey. That's oh, great, yeah. That's I bet idea. you will. I, will. I bet but you will. But anyway, yeah. you guys, I just wanted to share that with you because it's, you follow the instructions. It's, it's if you're making a shake and if you're, if you want to make it into ice cream, you need to put it into an ice cream maker or you need to put it in a mason jar and shake it and keep shaking it up in the freezer until it's frozen or, you know, um, go from there. I know <clears throat> Keto Chow has recipes for ice cream on their website. They have a lot of free recipes. But I just wanted to share that with everybody because it's super easy. It's doing exactly the same as you would for your shake, adding the exact same macros you would for your shake to match what you want in your drink as far as your fat is concerned. Just want to share want to share. Hey everybody, I got my um, Black Friday order from Perfect Keto. They had a really great sale on stuff. And I do like their MCT oil and their chocolate. The unboxing. So I got chocolate keto collagen because I like a hot chocolate. And I like this collagen for two reasons. It's flavored and it has MCT oil in it. And sometimes that helps me. How did I get four? Was it buy one, get one free or something? You got wow. And then my MCT oil powder in chocolate. And I guess I got, was it buy one, get one free? That's so weird. Oh, it was 50% off is what it was. So it was basically a, almost a buy one, get one free. So the reason why I order MCT oil powder, you guys, is I have always had issues with my intestines and MCT oil powder helps move things along without giving me the stomach cramps and stuff that the liquid MCT oils do. I love um, BioTrust unflavored, unsweetened collagen for the most part, but when I'm having when I'm stoved up and the dam needs to move, I take this product and it just helps me right along either that day or the next day. And I love this chocolate um, on a cold winter day here in Phoenix, Arizona. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Did you guys 
do Black Friday with Perfect Keto? Do you guys use any of the products that were out there? Who did you guys order from for um, Black Friday? I know I did a thing. Uh, 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 don't look at me like that, Harry. I didn't tell you. I did order from somebody. It's keto. It's keto, I promise. What did you order? I'm not telling. Not tell until I get it and I'll share. I'll share with you and I'll share with everybody. I saw it and well, I thought. Now, this was not put through the proper channels. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. It was no, put what did through you the buy? channels. What did you buy? I'm not telling. I'm not telling. I'm going to bug you. until we get it. No, I'm, I'm going to do a big reveal. It's out there. It's a product. I'm going to have it and I'll tell you why when we get it. I shouldn't have said nothing, you guys. I shouldn't have said Okay, nothing. let me put this way. How many did you get? Well, see, that's the thing. I I ordered one thing of things. Uh, and, okay, and so. Then, and, then, and then I heard somebody on one of the channels I watched, they shared something else, and I thought, oh, I've got to get some of that too. So I ordered uh, another thing with some things in it. Uh, okay. Share, no, 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 no. I know, I know what it is. I don't know what it kind it is, but know? I just figured it know? out. How do you know? One thing with many things in it could be a box. That's right. It's a box. It's a box. And it's got a bunch of bars in it. I cannot, I can either confirm <laughs> or deny this. Oh my God. This. Uh, did, you, did, did you check? Okay, everybody. We'll come back to you guys on the next segment so Harry and I can have a little uh, debate about did, this. Yeah, but did Would you? Would you like to have some of my whatever it is that's bigger than a bread basket? I don't know. Box? It depends. Well, I'm sorry, but I will share with you your oh, phone. Look, I'm Say, saved by saved the phone. By that dang phone. Gotta go. Ah, oh, God. Well, I got my other uh, Black Friday order, which is my Keto Chow. They had a great sale. They had, I got another chocolate toffee. 20% off, but this is the good thing. I got savory chicken soup. 40% off, you guys. 40, which is a great price. I got two of the sample chocolate mint and two of the banana. Now this is what I've been waiting for. This was their holiday bundle, which they sold out of. There's a secret flavor that I can't share with you guys in here, but let me look here. Oh my God. I got, ooh, look at this. I got magnesium drops. Let's look and see what's in the bundle. This is exciting. Magnesium drops. Fasting drops, which I, I've never used. It's concentrated sodium and magnesium supplement. And then I got electrolyte drops. So I'm going to have to read about those because we've never used those before. Oh, they did talk about it. Uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to tell people what it is, though. They'll, they'll announce their new flavor. And then I got a Keto Chow mug in it. So that's cool, huh? That's yeah. pretty. Yeah. I guess that's Miriam's own handwriting. And then I am very excited, you guys, because in the package I got lemon meringue, which I am so anxious to try. So I got lemon meringue. I got a pistachio, which I love. Pumpkin spice, which I love. Wow. Chocolate, which I love. Cho another chocolate mint, which we love. S'mores. S'mores just tastes like some kind of vanilla. It's good, but it's not s'moresy to me. And eggnog. So that is really cool. Oh, look. Recipe cards. How oh, neat. Wow. Eggnog loaf, chocolate peppermint fudge, ooh, milk chocolate soft fudge. What are these? Pistachio bars. Don't those look pretty? <gasps> Lemon bars. Um, I may have to make that. Oh my gosh, look at those. Camp out some more. No baked cupcakes. Okay. Oh, now I'm ultimate cheesecake pumpkin spice shake. Apple.
apple spice snickerdoodles. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, my gosh, you guys. How exciting is that? How nice is that? I can't tell you the two secret flavors, but I am so excited. Here's outside the bag. I can't tell you. But they kind of give it away. Not going to say. Not going to say. Anyway, you guys, I'm really excited. Everything's coming today, but that thing I did hasn't come yet. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, you guys, I'm really excited. Savory chicken soup. I'm going to make some stuff with that. So I'm excited. Okay. I'm excited about the summer meringue. Wendy. What? Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was just too excited looking at my stuff. See you in the next segment, you guys, when it's dinner. Cooking the hamburger. I'm going to cook mom a little omelet. Get your butter. Mom's butter. And it's better with butter. Got some cheese. Hey you guys, welcome back when that's a beef bowl for Harry. It's a three egg and five ounces of ground beef. What are you having? I'm having four ounces of chicken. The rest of that rotisserie chicken oh, okay. that I pulled. So we'll come back. Here's your bowl, Harry. Mom's is coming. Do you want pepper on yours? No. Do you want salt on yours? Yeah, a little salt. Sorry, this got hard. I forgot you didn't want the Byron's butt rub because you're right. having stomach issues. So Harry's having a beef bowl. I'm waiting for mom. I gotta make mom's little omelet, but I'm gonna wait until she gets here because it takes her like five minutes to get from the car inside. Anyway, Harry, bon appetit. Hey, you guys, we got our coffee going. We got our ice cream done. It's cookies and cream. Anyway, you guys, we're going to close out the vlog today. If you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give us a thumbs up. Hey, you guys, tomorrow is Friday, day four. It's not a fast day. It's eating regular two to three meals, no snacks, and have your collagen, you guys. You got to eat the good here because it's going to be one big salad day on Saturday. Water's done, ice cream's done. Guess we're having ice cream and coffee for dessert. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everyone.